it will be from 5.30, we're finishing at 8. So the first day will be like having one hour late because of the opening ceremony. Aside from that, we're going to continue with the rhythm of the 5.30 to 8. Um, let me remind you one more time about for those who reach the semi-final and final, you have to wear suits. And this is not optional, and this is not us or me being silly. It's in the Bibles. So please make sure that for those who will be uh, come to semi-final and finals, bring your suits with you so we are ready uh, to start. Um, this is uh, the information on the weight categories. So we have 118 countries, around 10 more countries than the qualification, and almost one thousand athletes. It's a really big number. Um, as you can see on the screen, you'll see the days, and you'll see the weight divisions, and you'll see the number of athletes. Please bear in mind that the draw system for this competition, we're going to go back to the normal way of doing our draws. Weigh-in will take place, and after the weigh-in, we will run the draw. So, we weighed in today. We're going to run the draw today for the competition tomorrow. Tomorrow, the athletes will weigh in from 10 to 12, and then we we'll run the draw for the second day, and so forth. Um, if you go to the next page, again, you have one video replay quota each game, and you're going to have three cameras per court, similar setup like before, so no changes to that. Uh, to, to that. The only thing you need to pay attention to is around 3 p.m. every day, you will have the draws for the next day on the World Taekwondo website, and also you'll have it on the MA Reg Online website. with one minute break for semi-finals and finals. Next please. Uh, point cap applies to every matches. Even for the semi-final and finals, there will be 20 points point cap after the second round. New hand signals. Uh, there will be new hand signals for referee. So have a better understanding with the coaches. Attack of the Kalyo will be <coughs> chop, come chop, and quickly here and this. Command within three seconds. Please note that. Cut kick must be aimed above PSS. If cut kicks are done below PSS for two times or more, cam jump must be given for aiming low. No cam jump if low kick once followed by above PSS kick or punch. Okay, so I'm gonna, Mr. Daniel Dalton.
So you two guys can demonstrate this one too. Here. 
So the player was making like a pretending a totally wrong information. So we take this case, we make a CSB meeting, and this player was sanctioned for six months and disqualified. So any disqualified because of a point it had, something like that, we will make automatic automatic uh, investigation. Okay? So just for your information, that's very important. We don't want the player make uh, win by this case. And if, anyway, if one player is disqualified uh, or win uh, because of, 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 of that, we look very bad. Okay? So we now very be careful about this issue. Thank you, Mr. Fu. And I know sometimes the coach has a quota and they use it to give the player a break. So sometimes uh, the coach asks invalidation, invalidation of Kamchok, but referee never do Kamchok. So we know. Those cases, we're going to reject it right away. So please use your quota wisely. <coughs> and next, uh, yellow, yellow card, Mr. Chapman. Yellow card. Um, I'm not sure why he said yellow card is my part, it makes like an evil man. Um, no, I mean, as we said, I mean, in the previous meeting, just the behavior in general, please be careful that if you have a protest, if you have any questions, just do it within the right sportsman frame. And I think this would happen in the past two days. But since I have a microphone, I just want to ask you for another thing. You have seen the warm-up area, it's very crowded. So I really ask you, because we have five days to, to go, the athletes that are competing on that day, please remain in the warm-up area. The rest, we'd like to ask them to take their seats, the spectator seats. Um, that will be easier for you, for us, and for everyone. So I hope you really can do that. Uh, there's no way. There's no way to check who's doing this. So hopefully that will be reasonable enough that for all of for you to follow. And that's it for my side. Thank you. Uh, next, please. Covered. Next. Thank you for the coaches for cooperation. And I think you guys are really wonderful. Thank you very much.
Yeah, if uh, I know what you mean. Uh, 10 seconds left, player maybe has uh, 4 or 5 Kamchon to spare, so he has no intention to fight. He just goes out, goes out. It's a bad, bad sportsmanship fight, right? He doesn't have no intention to fight. I know it's, it can be tactics also. In those cases, if he dies second, third time, we can issue him a yellow card. But it doesn't make him the loser. But we can, CSB can investigate and then maybe give him warning and stuff like that. So I know what you're saying. Yes, thank you. Uh, okay, I'll pass the microphone to our uh, doctor, Dr. John. Thank you very much. Good uh, afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Daehyung Jung. Uh, I'm a medical chairman of the World Medical Group. Uh, so today, uh, we will briefly uh, talk about uh, the process uh, of the uh, World Technical Medical Rule during the competition. And then also, uh, we will talk about the emergency action plan uh, at the uh, World Technical Junior Championship uh, in Hamamet, Tunisia. Oh, can you hear me? Just a second. Uh, this is red flag. There's no ambulance uh, at the venue for some reason. Uh, yeah, we will stop the game until the ambulance is available. Uh, if there's no doctors available uh, at the uh, competition venue during the competition, uh, we will stop the game until uh, uh, we found the doctors. Uh, 